Hello everybody, and welcome to the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations playthrough. Oh my days, it's been so long since I've touched this series, but it's finally time to finish off the trilogy. And we begin with Episode 1, Turnabout Memories. So, uh, yes, what a very exciting start to this game, and I have to say, of the entire Phoenix Wright trilogy, Trials and Tribulations is by far my favourite. I don't know, I think it's because it was the first Phoenix Wright game that I ever actually played. Because, I don't know, like, I remember coming across it, I think it was in Blockbuster, actually. <laughs> so, you can see how long ago it was now that I uh, <laughs> first played the uh, Phoenix Wright games, well, one of them at least, because Trials and Tribulations was my first one, because it was the only one that I could get my hands on at the time. Because this was back in the days where I don't think they'd released the Wii port yet, and they certainly hadn't released the um, iOS port yet, so it was back in that sort of day, and actually, obviously, last time I touched the Phoenix Wright Trilogy was um, 2013 with um, Justice for All, so it's been pretty much four years, and as of when I'm recording this commentary, um, it is pretty much exactly four years since I last did that with Phoenix Wright, because Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All finished on 22nd of March 2013, and it's pretty much spot on for four years and bloody hell. But yes, I just thought, seeing as this is my 50th solo commentary project on YouTube, why not finally finish off a trilogy that I had sitting on my channel outstanding for such a long, long time and also because I do absolutely adore this game, so it just felt right to finally come back to it. You may notice that the uh, visual setup is slightly different to the previous runs that I've done with Phoenix Wright. That's because I've, I've grown up a bit and realised, no, that old stuff looked really messy. So this way, it's a bit cleaner, everything's in the correct aspect ratio, and just on the whole, it's just much more acceptable in the grand scheme of things. And something that you'll have already noticed about Trials and Tribulations is that there's flashbacks involved. So, Phoenix is, like Nick, is actually our defendant for this first trial, and we're playing as the amazing Mia Fey. And I think this was something that I always just found really awesome, because even though I hadn't played any of the other Phoenix Wright games when I first played this, it was just really cool, because I think I sort of knew the general plot of roughly what happened in the game series, and it was just really cool to be playing as Phoenix's mentor. I know for a fact of when, obviously, the game first came out, um, this would have been, like, an amazing moment. I mean, basically, the, um, the original game of Trials and Tribulations came out in Japan on the Game Boy Advance, so that was, um, so obviously it was Gyakuden Saiban 3, so turn about Trial 3, 
and that came out January the 23rd, 2004 in Japan, but it was only in Japan for the Game Boy Advance copy. There was apparently also a Microsoft Windows version that came out on March 31st, 2006. And, but then obviously, the Capcom decided to re-release the trilogy on DS, which I think is one of the smartest moves they ever made, because it it's perfect. Um, and so that was released August 23rd, 2007, and the game finally made its way west um, on October 23rd, 2007 in North America, and October 3rd, 2008 in Europe. The game then came out on the Wii in uh, 2010, uh, iOS in Japan in 2012, and Europe 2013, and then the entire trilogy was re-released on the 3DS in 2014, and that's just glorious. Obviously, developed by Capcom, published by Capcom, the director is Shutakumi, and this was, at least at the time, the last game in the franchise that he directed. Although he has since returned to the franchise um, with uh, Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and Dai uh, Gyakuten Saiban, Naruhodo Ryunosuke no Boken, which was um, a side game, um, basically the great Ace Attorney. Although, annoyingly, never got released west. Really annoying. But yes, the game was writ directed and written by Shutakumi as being the last game in the Ace Attorney trilogy, because he felt that he'd explored Phoenix's character fully. And also because he was satisfied with the gameplay of Justice for All, he decided not to introduce any new gameplay mechanics, which is totally fair by me. So, really, I think Trials and Tribulations does mark the pinnacle of the franchise because it really effectively ties everything together and creates a really effective full arc across the entire game. Because something that is quite noticeable in the previous two games is that they're not quite so successful, shall we say, at creating that entire arc. Most of the time, the major plot just happens in one case, perhaps two at most, but everything else is quite disparate in terms of their connections, you're just going through cases, whereas Trials and Tribulations has Definitively three cases that are entirely connected to uh, the main plot of the game. But then uh, the other cases do some decent character development slash they uh, are just really fun cases. Because, I mean, the original Ace Attorney ha was pretty excellent in terms of its cases. Justice for All had a couple that really, really dipped. Um, but I feel that Trials and Tribulations is consistently fun and engaging in terms of what goes on. And that just makes me really happy. <laughs> and I feel like I've just splurged so much <laughs> in the first ten minutes of this commentary already. And like I, I feel like I've been ludicrously chatty. But <clears throat> and I've hardly really spoken about what's actually going on on screen. <laughs> but. Just take that to mean that I am so excited to be doing this game finally. Because <laughs> I do have a lot of love for it. 
so much love. It's just insane. And obviously I will, as the game progresses, because obviously it's quite a lengthy game, I will probably be going in and out of masses of trivia and just analysing and going along with the mystery. But we'll just we'll just roll with it, and it's going to be so much fun. And ah, uh, Winston Payne, such a pain. And uh, hey, we we we've got to do the cross examination. Joy, oh joy. So, uh, obviously, we are the ones who must cross-examine our defendant, which never ends well, because you're just like, please don't be lying, because otherwise this is going to make things extraordinarily difficult for us. But, oh well. So, I feel we should probably just press everything. I mean, obviously, in, in, in the Phoenix Wright games, this, well, outside of certain instances, your safest bet for getting through the game is to just press every single statement, because that's more, most likely to uh, get you the statements that you can then fling out the evidence and just go, OBJECTION! Or if you are in Japan, IGYARI! Which <laughs> I do love. It's a great little uh, phrase. And to be fair, obviously, just the objection is just iconic. And is the reason why I would never be able to be a lawyer. Because I would just want to stand in the courtroom and go, OBJECTION! I, I, I kind of cocked that up in my... Uh, Sitting at my desk, I did the proper slam the desk, but then I forgot to do the, do the finger. So it's objection. There we go. I got it. Obviously, you can't see me, but uh, still, <laughs> it's it's just too addicting, and addictive, and I just would not be able to control myself. I really want to do it, even though that's just no. The only time you object in a real law of court is when you uh, really do have an objection. And, oh, Nick, why are you lying to us? So, yes, already in this case we've got the, the three main players. We've got Phoenix Wright, we've got, uh, what's-his-face. Not, not really entirely that important. I mean, I know he's the victim, but, eh. And then we've got uh, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne, who is easily one of the most fascinating characters in the franchise. And, oh, Nick. You're not helping your case, mate. Right, let's see. Um. Yes, but, uh, Nick, no. Objection. Yes, objection. There is a problem here. Because he can't. He's wearing a bloody jacket, you nutter. Why must you lie? You're giving Winston Payne everything he needs to take us down. So. Since I'm back on the case of uh, Winston Payne, let's go to a little bit of his name trivia, because I remember doing this quite a bit back in the day, and I might as well continue it, because it's always fun. So obviously, the pun, because all of 
the Ace Attorney names are puns. Just can't escape it. It's always the case, and it's hilarious, and I love it. Um, but obviously, in English, his full name is Winston Payne, which is clearly a play on Winst in Pain. Which, obviously, makes sense, because he's meant to be the rookie killer, but... <laughs> He's crap, basically. Um, I believe his Japanese name is um, actually I I can't seem to locate his uh, Japanese name, which is joyous. Um, but either way, his surname is I believe. Ouchie, which is just clearly Japanese romanization of ouch. Um, his given name, Takafumi, is claimed to have come from the name of uh, one of the staff members' dentists. So, that's always helpful. And then when it comes to his French name, um, he's called Victor Boulet. So, uh, Obviously, Victor comes from Victory. Clearly ironic. And his surname, Boulet, comes from the French word Boulet. Spelled differently, obviously, um, which is used for someone who always does things incorrectly to the point of being a burden. Which is very, very fitting for Winston Payne. And... Actually... He's also one of the only three characters to appear in every single Ace Attorney game until Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. The other two being Dick Gumshoe and Phoenix Wright himself. And in every single one of these games, he appeared in the first case. Because um, obviously it's always the tutorial case. Um, but he did make an optional cameo appearance in the first case of Ace Attorney Investigations Mile Edgeworth and had a mandatory role in the first case of Yakuten Genji 2, which is Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth 2. And also um, Winston Payne and his brother, who I don't think we will be meeting anytime soon, are the only rival prosecutors to like a close-up face animation of the style seen on the bottom screen when the player character objects. Although, apparently Manfred from Karma lacked one in his original appearance, but he did eventually gain one in a flashback case against him. So, that's always fun! And also, Shudakumi also created Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, which is another excellent DS game. And there is a um, minor green-suited detective by the name of McCaw who is partnered with a blue-suited detective only known as the Blue Detective. Um, McCaw's suit and tie, which is green suit, red tie, very much match Winston Payne's own in uh, Turn Out Memories, which is this one. And uh, he wears opaque glasses with rectangular rims, very similar to Winston Payne. But obviously the, the blue detective very much recalls Phoenix Wright, because he wears a blue suit and a red tie. So it's just like, ooh, love that reference. It made me very, very happy. I mostly, mostly recognised Nick, but uh, it's always quite funny when other characters do get uh, brought in as well. Now, let's see where everything is going now. So, lots of high-voltage cables. Always helpful. So... Uh, this is the bit that I think we need to investigate a little bit further, because, obviously... Mr. Swan... I believe it is. I think it's Douglas Swan. I've, I've got that in my head. You see, I, I really need to uh, 
read things properly. Ah, yeah, so it, it's, it's Doug. So... <laughs> Oh, Doug Swallow. I knew it was some sort of bird. God knows why I had Swan on the brain. Forget I said that. <laughs> yes, look, let's just say... We were... I was in a commentary with some mates and we were discussing Zeus. And the less about it, the better. But I think... Right now, we can establish the murder method. Because we kind of already figured out quite a lot of stuff. And yes, we, we can definitely tell you how uh, Mr. Swallow died. So, look at um, the crime photo. Well, we don't, to be fair, we don't even need to look at the crime photo. We can just present it because it's really bloody obvious. Massive high voltage cables. Doy. It's, it, it's so clear, like, these guys completely daft. Then, to be fair, the, uh,. The judge has always been an idiot, and will continue to be an idiot for as long as the Ace Attorney series lasts. Because otherwise, there would not really be a huge amount of attention. Because he would he, he would believe us when we are telling him things, rather than just going, "I, I see nothing wrong with this." Guilty. Oh joy, what, what's Winston Payne getting all excited about? Well... You say that, Winston. <laughs> oh? Oh joy. What is this irrefutable proof? Oh god. <sighs> I haven't made this bloody easy for us, have you, Nick? It's just... You're pushing the victim, clearly. There's voltage things everywhere, just... Bleh. But I think, to be fair, you can probably see from Nick. No way in the hell would he murder anybody. At least not intentionally, anyway. And, uh... Grossberg? Please be quiet about your hemorrhoids. I don't need to know, thank you very much. Um... Can I just, uh, say, um, objection? I mean, also hold it would work, but I bloody object to this, thank you very much. So, I mean, I think, I think it, it's quite clear that um, Nick thought that he would be, well, sentenced almost immediately if he admitted the truth, but you, you see, lying's not getting you anywhere, Macy, so you're gonna have to tell us the truth right now. Oh, thank God for that.
Oh, bleeding hell. Well... That sounds like it put the nail in the coffin a little bit, but um... I'm sure we can work our way out of this one, because you see, having had a look at the flashback, I know that's not exactly something we can go on in court, but uh... Something seems particularly off about this. And I think we're going to need a little bit more testimony to uh, get to the bottom of this all, eh? Huh.